On February 9th, the last night of Chinese New Year, Beijing witnessed its first big symbol of 2009, a kind of unolympic flame. A spectacular fire engulfed a luxury hotel building in the central business district. Designed by the Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas for China Central Television's new headquarters, 34-story building burned to a crisp before a crowd of thousands of onlookers, apparently sparked by a fireworks show organized by the network itself. The building and its neighboring big brother, the CCTV Tower, have been making waves around the world even before breaking ground in 2003. Located in Beijing's central business district, the CCTV Tower is a loopy twist on the idea of the skyscraper and is widely considered to be a marvel of engineering. One critic has called the building the most important piece of architecture of the young century. But along with praise, the project has received its share of criticism. Some have cast the building as a hip logo for an authoritarian propaganda machine. Many locals have ridiculed the headquarters for its excessive cost and material use and given it a litany of embarrassing nicknames, big underpants among them. Next door, the TVCC, or Television Cultural Center, which is shaped something like a cubist boot, has managed to evade controversy, at least up until now. On the night of February 9th, officials apparently organized a show that included top-grade fireworks, which require approval that CCTV did not have. What is readily available are hundreds of amateur video clips uploaded to video sharing sites like yoku.com. One clearly shows errant fireworks landing on top of the building's metal skin around 8.30 p.m. After sparks reached the building's flammable insulation material, it began to burn from the inside out, turning the hotel's central 30-story atrium into a giant chimney. The Chinese internet was aflame with discussion. Some worried about the safety of those inside. Amazingly, the fire claimed only one life, that of a firefighter. In the process of determining who will pay for the damages, the insurance companies, or CCTV, investigators discovered questionable accounting involving the project's budget and management. Although originally budgeted for 7 billion RMB, the cost has ballooned to over 10 billion yuan. Whatever the fate of the building, the fire has already become an embarrassing symbol for a demonized organization and an ominous reminder of the heat that's on the Chinese government in this critical year. Alex Pasternak for the Far Eastern Economic Review.